All right, so in this lecture, we're going to talk a bit more about storing values because there's actually another way than just using variables in Kotlin. So let's go ahead and open up the Kotlin REPL again. So we're going to go to tools, tools up here, Kotlin, and open up the Kotlin REPL. So I sized this up a bit for you guys so you can see it better. Now let's first recap what we've learned so far. So we know that we can create variables using the var keyword. And we can just give it any name we want, like Udemy equals Udemy, which is a string variable that just holds some arbitrary text. All right, and if you want to print this out, we can just type Udemy again. And that's gonna give us the text we stored. Now note that with variables, I can actually reassign a new value to the variables. So I could say something like, Udemy equals Google, which is not correct, but I can do this. And if I want to print out Udemy, this time it's gonna give me Google. Now, the other way to store values is using the val keyword. And the difference between values and variables is that values are final. They cannot be changed after they have been assigned once. So if I create a variable called my name and assign it a text string Peter and print this out. It's gonna give us Peter. Um, I cannot reassign this. So if I try something like my name equals Patrick, hey there Patrick, if you're listening to this, that's gonna give me an error, more specifically an illegal access error. So it's illegal for me to access my value again and change its stored value. Now, oftentimes value is the better choice than variable. It's a good practice to use values as long as you really don't need to reassign your, well, variables in that case. So if you want to store a value where you know that value cannot change during execution, you should use the val keyword. The same concept in Java, for those of you who know it, is just a final variable. So we'd have to type something like final string, my name, da, da, da. And in Kotlin, this is actually a built-in functionality. So what Kotlin does with this is basically enforcing this good practice of making every variable that can be final, final. So whenever you can try to use val, and if you notice that, mm, no, I actually I need to change the value of this variable from time to time, then you can use a variable using the var keyword. So to make this clear again, we can have another value called pi. And since pi will probably not change um, in the next few years, even though some people say it should, we're gonna use a val. And we're gonna assign this to 3.1415, da da da, and hit control enter. Now again, I cannot change the data I stored in this pi value. So if I try to reassign pi in some weird way that it's not gonna work in mathematics, no, Colin tells me I can't do that. And there are actually more cases than just mathematical constants where the val keyword is actually a better choice than the var keyword. So remember, whenever you want to create a variable, think about if you can use the val keyword instead. Now you may ask, why is this a good practice? Well, that's kind of beyond the scope of this lecture, but generally, if you know value should not change during execution, you should enforce that. And you can do that by using the val keyword instead of the var keyword, because then you can be sure that no one can ever change the data that you assigned to your value. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lecture and I'll see you again in the next one.